your girl Kels, and I'm back at it again with a next story time video. And this video, as you guys can see in the caption, is going to be drama. So I was um seven months pregnant, and as you guys know, my fiance is a barber. So you know, he always busy. So like you know, sometimes he just need a hand to do things. You know, um, he was like babe i need you to go to super you by nickel and deposit this money because i busy and i can't do it and i was like no problem babe it's okay with me so he actually gave me his whole wallet the level of trust that he has like with me is like babe just take the wallet and just do what you have to do you know in case you want to buy something extra do what you have to do so he gave me the funds he gave me the money. The money was in a wallet. The cards was in a wallet. So, I check in. Okay, no problem. So, I take in a Jeep now. I drive into Super U to, to Nickel. The Howell Center is the name of the place. So, I drive into Howell Center and I finally reach to the parking, right? Um. Uh, so, I hear coming out of the car now. I reach in front of Nickel. The place where it is um recharge your cards, recharge your cards with the money. So I know watching left and I had on a dress that day. I watching left and right. I said, but wait. I lose the wallet? I say no 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 I lose the wallet. I big belly pregnant. Can I let my belly doing <laughs> like you know when they say that kids just feel what parents just be going through, like when they're in the stomach, that's why you can't be stressing, thinking too much because a child going to feel it. You didn't hear an um, earthquake going on in my belly, plus I'm having a headache. I feel like I got dropped. I start to cry. I say, no, like, impossible. I lose this money. So I go in back in the Jeep, right? I, re I do it. I retrace in my steps. I say, but wait, what's going on? How come, how I lose this? So I spent i'm not gonna lie to why in this video i spent like 30 minutes trying to find that wallet in that car and i didn't find it you know the deception in my face i was crying because i was like not only i lose the money i lose all his cards i lose his id i lose everything so imagine somebody giving you that trust to 100 percent and you don't lose everything even though it's not my fault yes it is my fault I take full res um, um, accountability of what happened, but damn, I was like, <laughs> let me don't talk to love because the baby's sleeping. I said, but wait, I'm going to drop down dead in this place. So I was looking in the car, Donny hot. It's already 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm in this kind of packing, not sweating to death, even though the AC on, but you know when we're pregnant, it's hot, it's everywhere hot, eh? even though the AC could be blasting 16, it's hot, eh? So I check in you, I find in this impossible. I went back by the nickel place and I tell the lady, did you see a wallet somewhere here? And she was like, if you want, you could look around, but the place was busy. I understand that the place was busy, but I lose all my stuff. You know, it's normal. I was like, oh my God, I was in shock. I was crying. And she was like, miss, we didn't find nothing. You don't have nothing here. And I was like, can I see the cameras? Because the, automatically in my head, I say, okay, she can't find it, but let's see the cameras in case like, I drop it here and somebody maybe go with it. And she was like, right now they are like to go through the cameras. We need to call a technician guy and this and that. I was like, no problem, but I need to know more information about this. Like I lose my wallet. I come to this place. So I need to know what's going on. So she was really being like, you know, she busy and stuff and she don't want to deal with me. Breath. I check in, okay, I'm going to do, I'm going to retrace my steps again. I went back. I retraced my steps. Are you know caddies go right next to the parking lot of Super U? My friends, they they work in there. They just um, put the gas in the cars and they was like, but what's going on with she? But what's going on, Kelly? You losing your main big belly pregnant. I tell you, are you sun blazing? I walk in like I'm going crazy in that parking lot trying to see if I, if I drop it on the ground or something. Something tell me, bye impossible i lose this wallet i just had a wallet in the car it probably dropped somebody was maybe watching me because it take me a while to like you know leave out of the area when i open my car because i was pregnant i had a big belly like i tired so i check in you know what i can walk around the area i say 
the lady from the nickel she give me attitude down my head i going crazy so let me go to see by the close to the bakery let me let me go on the other side you never know if you drop and somebody drop it somewhere i say i can go to the bakery at least buy a drink because i like i i under need pressure right now look me crying big belly pregnant i telling the lady um but I lose my wallet and thing. I ain't gonna lie here. Yeah. Like, my fiance, like, wallet and all his money inside of it. And I, she tell me, but I don't worry. It's okay. Like, just try to find a way how you could tell it to him. And I was like, I don't know how I could tell it to him. I don't know how I could tell a man I lose it. And he needed that money to do something important. So how I look. So anyways, I check in. You know what? Something went in my head. Go by Super U. But first, I went to walk around the area still after I come out of the bakery. So maybe 10 minutes later, I went to Super U and I asked the security guard, did you guys see someone drop a wallet in here? And then there was a, yeah, the guy, the girl from the bakery, bring it. She just bring a wallet in. I was like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Whew. So, they tell me how the wallet look. I said, it's a gray wallet. And I described him on the wallet looking and stuff. And he was like, yes, we find a wallet. And I was like, okay. And then he given it to me. And I was like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. I find the wallet. The money may be in it. I opened in the wallet. They only have the cards. So, the money gone. And that money, he worked so hard. He sweat. His sweat. His patience. All the money that he make for the day gone to the dogs and i was crying i was like i don't have no money i can't i don't know how i'm giving back that money even though you know even though it's my partner we can find a solution but he worked hard for it so how i i gonna do this you know it's like telling somebody boy yo you lose your money yeah. you know like damn so i need to get to the bottom of this i need to know what happened so how he tell me is the girl from the bakery that dropped it there so i check it okay let me go to the bakery how is next door and she was like yeah it had a lady that come here she um she was here before the wallet reach here right and she was like talking saying yeah she come from away and she going back what look just now and this and that and she said she had a daughter and a son with her with her that her daughter and her son so they in a place so she said she was going back so where well, so the lady leave the bakery and the girl from the bakery say but i think i see him around that like on the side like they was watching the wallet and like the lady girl come back inside she says she don't know if they find it on the floor she don't know she just see the lady girl run back inside like five minutes later and drop the wallet and leave but she didn't come with her mother and I was like, okay. So I went back by the barber shop now because I got to tell him it's been an hour and it's been an hour and a half. I leave him. So I say, babe, I see he cut in here and then I tell him, babe, come outside. I need to tell you something. So look me crying, my lungs out, my eyes red. He thinking something happened to me. I tell him, babe, I lose the wallet. I lose the money. So look me like I, I trembling and everything we were checking. So guys, I finally get a guts to tell him I lose the wallet. I tell him, babe, I lose the wallet. I'm sorry. I was crying. I was like, I know I can't bring back time, and I can't. I know, and I know I can't bring back the money. I'm happy that I find back the wallet, but I lose the money inside of it. It looked like the people take the money and they just leave the wallet. He was like, babe, calm down. It's okay. Stop crying. But Kelly, I am going to find out who take that money. So I going to super you now. He went to super you. He tell a security guard, listen, I want to see the cameras right now. Everything that get recorded from this time to that time, right now. He was like, No, we can't do that. Um, to do that, you're gonna have to go to the gendarmerie party plant, and then they're gonna have to start a dossier and see what happened for real. He was so upset, right? He was like, you know what? I'm not going to get go to the extreme with these people. I can just leave it. I can just leave it. He said, Kelly, it's okay. Money does come and go. 
it's okay. I am feeling bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm I feel bad, yes, but is already gone we can't do nothing about it you know and yeah and that's what happened guys that's what happened and and yeah he said i can tell how you do the exact words he tell me he said kelly i can just work back for the money and i know i lose the money i make this morning but and the money i had extra in the wallet but money just come and go but i didn't want it to go that way but yeah and yeah, that's what happened. I lose my fiance wallet and yeah, that was it. That's it for this video. And we didn't find the money, but thank God at least he got the cards and stuff. And of course, you know me, I had to put the extra um, cherry on the top. I do something to make him feel good and a little happier to bring up the mood. And yeah, that's it for the video guys make sure subscribe to this channel make sure hit that like button make sure comment something so i could see that are you really watch this video and let me know if you guys want to know more story times because so much of things happen to me in my life i wouldn't even imagine that's it for the video i'm out